Hi guys, it's Shannara Finn. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a redesign of a set of nails that I did while I was down at the beach. Just before leaving for the beach, I received this package from Nail Career Education. Beautiful, lovely picture of Susie right in the top here. And inside is my order. And I just had to try her 24 karat gold foil. It is so beautiful and delicate and definitely recommend using foil gel to adhere it. It doesn't stick as well with um, a base tacky layer. For the base, I used Evie's Patty Gel, so cute. And then we did veins of the gold foil. And you can see I added some gems from Long Hair Pretty Nails at the cuticle. It looked really pretty and I was okay with it for about a week and then decided that I wanted to change. So first off, we're going to take a 100 grit buffer and very gently buff away the shiny top coat just until the shine is gone. I didn't want to lose any of that beautiful gold. Okay, next I'm gonna take my favorite glow-in-the-dark pigments and I'm going to sprinkle them over a very thin coat of Madame Glam's Perfect White. I'm going to sprinkle these over the, the color while it's wet and then cure after. I am barely touching the nail here whenever I'm dabbing this because I don't want to pick up any of that wet gel polish that's on the nail. Um, and I also found that after I cured it, if I burnished the color onto it again, uh, because it was still slightly tacky, it made the color much more pigmented and pretty. And of course, once I'm done with all of the pigments, I go back with alcohol on a brush and clean up any excess that's gotten on top of the gold veins or on top of my gems. Now I'm going to repeat that process for the rest of the nails. I used a glow-in-the-dark green glitter in this particular spot and it didn't really show up very well against the blue so I ended up going back and dabbing a bit of the yellow on top of it as well to kind of give it a little bit more pop. And I also added some neon green pigment at the end, but um, it eventually got to the color depth that I was looking for. And of course, once again, I apologize for being out of frame, guys. I was having issues with my setup.
here I'm doing that sprinkle method like I was talking about where you just kind of dab the brush in and when not we tap it but like I said it didn't work very well for the orange I really had to buff the orange onto the nail to get it to show up as clearly as the other colors As you can see here, I'm very carefully going around all of my gold veins with the white, and it is a super thin coat, just enough to give some adhesion for the uh, pigments. This is what I was referring to about buffing the powder on again after curing to make the color a little bit deeper. It really helps to make a lot of the bright colors much more pigmented. And see how that gold just instantly shines up and gets stunning whenever you clean it. Now we're going to apply our top coat again and cure for 60 seconds. Don't forget to cap your edge. So here's the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everyone is staying safe and cool in this heat. Please um, hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.